On developing now, a UVA student says the trauma of his arrest will stay with him forever. Martise Johnson suffered injuries to his head as he was arrested in Charlottesville early yesterday morning. And tonight, a high-ranking university official is claiming a breathalyzer showed Johnson was not intoxicated at the time. Jay Korf is in Charlottesville for us tonight. Jay. In a statement read by Johnson's attorney, Martise Johnson talked about his fears, his hopes, his resolves in the wake of a confrontation that left him bloodied and the university on edge. Tensions remain high at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, less than 48 hours after third year student Martise Johnson was injured after he was arrested outside a bar for public intoxication and or profane swearing and obstruction of justice. Students we spoke with remain concerned that police went too far when taking Johnson to the ground, but at the same time, they're waiting for all the facts to come out. What happened 10 seconds before this? What actually happened? When that can happen to a student, it's just like, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, we all walk this corner and go to that bar right there, and it's just like, wow, that could have been me. According to the police report, Johnson was being belligerent prior to his arrest. It is our duty to Hundreds of students rallied in support of Johnson throughout the day. Thursday evening, with 10 stitches crisscrossing his forehead, Martise Johnson, his mother and brother behind him, attended a press conference with his attorney, Daniel Watkins, who read a statement from Johnson. As the officers held me down, one thought raced through my mind. How could this happen? My head lay bloody, but unbowed. I trust that the scars on my face and head will one day heal. But the trauma from what the ABC officers did yesterday will stay with me forever. And in a new development, a high-ranking University of Virginia official is saying that he spoke directly with Martise Johnson and that Johnson told him that the breathalyzer test that Johnson took the evening of his arrest showed that Johnson was not intoxicated. This information, we should add, has not been corroborated by state authorities. In Charlottesville, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.